It appears that the Boxing Day Junkanoo Parade may be in jeopardy as weather conditions threaten the start of the parade. Tanea Noel Ferguson tells us tonight that group representatives got a briefing today on what the weather will be tomorrow leading up to the Boxing Day morning. A 48-hour weather update given to Junkanoo group representatives as forecasters say the exit of a cold front followed by a warm frontal system on Christmas Day could mean rain on Boxing Day morning. Well, this indeed is bad news for the hundreds of Junkanooers set to participate in the cultural explosion. Meteorologist Godfrey Burnside explained what can be expected. Do expect winds to increase out of the northeast about 15 to 20 knots during Christmas Day, but will be decreasing around 10, 11 o'clock on Christmas night to about 10 to 15 knots for the Junkanoo Parade. Now, as I indicated earlier, the system is expected to stall and move back northward as a warm front at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Christmas Day. Now, although the weather system is expected to clear up, Burnside says, as with any weather system, we can't say for sure what exactly will happen. I don't want to say that there'll be no precipitation at all, all right, because we do have, all right, an air mass around us moving to the north that could and may not give you a shower, all right. So I can't definitely say there will not be a shower. That is still a possibility. Now, Junkanoo group members had an opportunity to voice their concerns about the weather and for the most part were satisfied with the information that was given. We understand what this is. This is like a heavyweight fighter going to beat the champion on his own home turf. And as you can hear, the smack talk has already begun. We find out from these Junkanooers about how they feel about the weather predictions and whether or not you'll meet them on bay. A lot of kids. A lot of young people, and we want to make sure their safety is um, first in hand. And with the mobilization, of course, everybody's concerned with mobilization and time. Okay, and hopefully everything will be clear and everything will go good. Everything will go good that day. But other than that, be ready to go. When there's inclement weather around the parade, is the fact that everything is pushed back. The spectators get into the parade, so traffic is on the road. It's difficult to get the larger costumes to the parade, whether you have them in a trailer or whether you just uh, pushing them along on wheels, it's, it's, everything becomes difficult. Uh, we don't want to postpone the parade because it then creates challenges for New Year's. We need some time to mobilize to get to Bay Street. So we're going to be moving our costumes from as early as 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So if it's raining, then that will hamper us greatly. So it is um, with great eagerness that we await to see what the report will look like tomorrow for us to make a clear-cut decision. Okay. Janana Well Ferguson. ZNS Network News.